Hi Diego, today is day 78 and non-stop barbecue we're doing ribs 3x3. Three three. This rib, 3x3 three three means three different styles. This rib has ketchup, garlic granules, Italian seasoning, and garlic powder on it. This rack has, has no ketchup, garlic onion mix, and sugar. This one has no ketchup and no sugar, just garlic and onion mix. So, we're trying three different racks of ribs, three by three, that's how we're going to do them. Alright, previously I showed you that I did not trim much off of my pork spare ribs. I still go one, two, three, bone, and I cut it at the bone. But now, instead of leaving this chunk over here, I actually found that my knife cuts through that pretty easy. I think. Let's try it. So I just want to, I like the bone, so we're going to leave the bones in here as much. But we're going to square this up. We're going to turn it into a St. Louis style spare rib. Not a baby bat, so that's a different kind of meat. But spare ribs in our area are typically a dollar a pound, 75 cents a pound less. So I've cut off my spare, and I've got a pretty squared up St. Louis style spare rib. Could have cut a little more off here at this end, but that's pretty easy. It's going to fit in my rack a lot better, and so that's. What we're and then I put these toothpicks in here to separate it so the smoke can get through there better. This will actually straighten out more as it cooks. Isn't that cool? All right, so I've got my coal hot coals just set down there. They're not, they just barely started getting hot and I dumped them in there. Did that on purpose. I'm going across this back wall. This should give us about a three hour cook time, maybe more. And I've decided to use the back wall as my offset because that wall is insulated with sand inside those bricks. And it'll help keep the pond warm. Woohoo, on a nice sunny day. Anyways, so we're going to do the fire trail method with uh, our three racks of ribs, day 78. All right, you might not have noticed, but there are sticks underneath that uh, fire trail. Halfway through, we'll flip that rack around so they cook evenly. All right, I'm going to check the meat now. Looking pretty good. You notice that I took the toothpicks out. I can tell you on how slow it's moving, it ain't done. Yeah, it ain't. All right, the first one that had garlic granules. All right, it's moist, it's juicy, it's tasty, but it's not noticeably garlicky. So, okay, this was the one that has sugar in it. We put some brown uh, sugar in the raw, and then we put the uh, standard barbecue rub of coating. Mmm, that is sweet. That's much sweeter, and it's very juicy. All right, and this is my standard basic rub. A little bit of tango spice, garlic, my special garlic mix, and um, that's it. Dry rub. It's interesting, it, it kind of looks like there's this blood here, and I don't know why, because that's just smoke. Um, I've never seen it be that red and then go into the gray. Interesting. Um, hopefully it'll be really smoky. Mmm. This is crispy, kind of like fried chicken. Good flavor, nice smoke. Very juicy and tender. Yeah, out of the park, baby.